tea in the pot. Yeah. <clears throat> so you're going to have another go at me as well, are you? Everybody else has, so... With my track record, at least you only forgot to pick up your kill. I forgot mine even existed. I didn't forget my car broke down. Whatever. So, go on. Between you and me. Hmm? Is it a woman? No, it is not. Mm, usually was with me. Ah! I have just taken your daughter to school again. If you're interested. So, are you going to deign to do any work today or is it going to be another day off? Just, you know, this time I'd like a little bit of notice. Right, you've made your point. Good, but is it getting into that thick skull of yours? Steve, you are throwing your life away. And what for? Please tell me. I'd love to know. You know... You wouldn't understand even if I did. And anyway, it'd still be all my fault, so... I'm going to work. Work? So does that mean streetcars, or could it be another little jaunt out? Well, I haven't got a car, remember? Oh, yeah. Gave up on you, didn't it? I'm tempted myself. <coughs> What's that smell? Well, it was scrambled eggs before I burned them. Oh, heck. I was going to bring you up a breakfast tray to say sorry for snapping at you. It's already forgotten. Size, I'm not keen on scrambled eggs. Oh, well, hopefully you weren't keen on this pan because I'm not sure I can get this out. Give it here. Oh, no, no, sit down. How about a bacon butty? Do you know, to be honest, I'm not really hungry. A cup of tea will do. You sure? Positive. Besides, I can't risk my grill pan. I'm hopeless. I don't know what you see in me. A lovely, kind, generous man. And you're not hopeless. I am. I made a right hash of things yesterday. Not just with you, but with Gavin. I, I should have told him. No. I've been thinking. It's up to you to decide when's best. It just seems such a huge thing to drop on him after we've just met up again. Well, it's waited this long. Can wait a bit longer. Yeah. Yeah, you can. I, I just wanted to know how you're coping. Well, it's nice of you to ask. Most people are too busy gloating. Oh, I'm sure that's not true. <coughs> no, well, there might be a smidgen of satisfaction. How much do you want for this? One fifty. Ah. Yeah, but how, how, how do I know it works? Because it's had one careful owner. In fact, he took more care of that than he did me. Oh, you mean th this was Rob's? Oh, well, then I definitely want a discount. Look, think of the kudos. It belonged to an actual murderer. Hey, you can milk that one for ages. All right, 150 it is. You got your card on you, Emily. Steve! Steve! Are you gonna stop or do I have to rugby tackle you? God. What is wrong with you? Maybe I'm sick of having lectures, that's all. I'm not gonna lecture you. I am worried about you. This problem you've got. Don't point at it. Does Michelle know? No, she doesn't, and I don't want her to know. Well, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. And listen, I'm sure she'd rather know than her think it was her. Listen to me. You tell her, or anyone, me and you will never speak again. Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Look at your wig on. I think you've been daft, then. <sighs> Another fine mess I've got myself into. Hey, love. Hi. I've, uh, I've just come to check the rotor. Oh, right. There you go. Cheers. Ah, oh, that's good. I'm not in till tonight. It's in a couple of flats I want to take a look at. Well, surely it's not come to that yet. Well, I can't stay with Carla forever, can I? No, you can't, but you'll be back here soon. All oh, right. Steve's suddenly broken-hearted, is he? I don't know what he is, apart from an idiot. Well, no change there, then. All I'm saying is, don't rush things. Just give it a bit of time, eh? Liz, I need to move on with my life. Can't just be hanging around, hoping for the best. Worth more than that. I know you are, love. He's not on tonight, is he? 
No. Good. See you later. See you, Tony. See you, Liz. Well, if they won't do something, somebody else has to. Dead, mate. Hey, Dom, how <laughs> are you, man? Hey, good, good. Hey, I just wanted to pick your brains regarding the lovely Julie. <laughs> But all right. I think I'm taking her out tomorrow to that bistro over the road. No, she said, you know, she seems really keen. Great. Yeah, she was even asking what your surname was. <laughs> Sorry. See if it sounds right with Julie. Julie Pooley. <laughs> I don't know. She must be keen, because it didn't put her off. <laughs> well, we've not even had our first date yet, so... Yeah, I know, man. I keep saying to her, I said, Jules, don't go running off with yourself again, OK? But you know how Julie, when she gets her mindset on something, <laughs> that is it. I see. <laughs> Uh, Sophie, could you go and sort of stock, please, in the bag? Like now, please. Thank you. Yeah, well, you know, you've got to admire her optimism, though, because the last two relationships, they really didn't work out very well. Oh? Why? You know, the first one, he died. A massive heart attack. Second one had a nervous breakdown. Mm, they both seemed fine when they first met her as well. It's tragic. Still. Third time lucky, eh? <laughs> so, what was it you wanted to pick my brains about? No, oh, uh, I just thought I might take a little gift, and uh, I didn't know what. Let you in on a little secret. Anything with a cat on it. <laughs> she she likes cats. She likes them. She loves them, man. She's got like nine of them. They sleep in a bed. They're like her children. Anyway, have a lovely time tomorrow, and um, I'm sure you're gonna hit it off just fine. <laughs> Thanks. Go on. Go on. Go. You should really be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Hello? Hiya. It's me, your dad. It's Michael. Only, I, I was wondering if everything was all right, cos you never turned up for your haircut. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, well, I think some, something came up. Oh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I got a burst pipe. <laughs> the place is a total mess. Oh, well... Um, look, I'll, I'll pop around and help you out if you like, because I'm quite handy at plumbing. No, 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 it's, it's all right. I, um, I called the plumber out. It's all fixed. There's, a. Uh, uh, there's just water everywhere, so I need to clean up. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm handy with a mop and bucket, too, so I'll nip around. No, it's all right. I can, I can sort it. No, it's not... Look, I said I can handle it. Yeah. I know, but... I just... Stop pushing, will you? Just... Just leave me alone. What am I going to do? About what? The car. Oh, mate, get rid. Don't expect me to be all sympathetic. He should have been here working, not gadding about in that heap. It's karma. And what's this all about, mate, eh? Going AWOL all the time. Is that you running away from something? I'll be daft. No, seriously, mate. I'm worried about you. I'm fine. So why have you broken up with Michelle, then? She's the best thing that ever happened to you. I know. Well, then. I can't just leave things like this. Now you're talking. I mean, I can't just abandon her, can I? No, mate, give her a ring, give her a ring. I mean, my car, not the shell. Strip down job. I mean, it's dropped a valve and more than likely a piston smashed. No, don't blame me with science. Just tell me how much it's going to cost. We labour grand, maybe more. All right, you know what? Fine, go for it and um, whack a new engine in it while you're at it. What, are you serious? Yeah, nothing's too good for my baby. Oh, cool. Can I work on it? I love kick ass. Steve, I don't think you've thought this through. The car's not worth that. Well, she is to me. I mean, you wouldn't put your dog down, would you, just because it had a poorly leg? Or euthanise your granny because she was too old? If she was that old, she might be glad of it. <laughs> if she was mine, I'd respray her and all. 
You know what? I've always fancied a car in British racing green. The cream upholstery. Oh, what brilliant. The cream leather upholstery, mate. Hey, I'm just saying, take your time, mull it over. I have mulled it over. You know, it's time for action. I want to done up to the nines now. Do you want the business or not? Yeah. Yeah, it's your money. When do you think it'll be ready? Well, it'll be a couple of weeks, that lot. I mean, we're talking major surgery, yeah. All right, well, as soon as you can, eh? Because, uh, I'm missing her already. I know it's short notice, but if you could swap to this afternoon instead of tonight... You can. Oh, thanks, Eva. That would be great. All right, love. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Meddler. There is nothing wrong with a bit of meddling, especially where affairs of the heart are concerned. <laughs> Hi, love. What can I get you? I've lost him. I know I have. I'm sure that's not true. He told me to leave him alone. Maybe he was just a bit stressed, you know, if there was water everywhere. No. I pushed him too far too soon. Jumping back into his life, I'm asked. Only because you care. No wonder he's changed his mind. Well, Michael, if he has, is an idiot and he doesn't deserve you. I'm sure he hasn't. He just needs a bit of space to think things over. Thank you, and have a nice day now. Thank you. This new biscuit seems to be selling rather well, don't you think? All right. OK. I shouldn't have done it. What are you going to do about it? What am I going to do? What do you want me to do about it? I want you to ring him and I want you to tell him that you was lying. <laughs> What, and come across like a total nerd? Dev, you are a total nerd. Can you imagine poor Julie sitting there waiting and you don't even turn up? Yeah, OK, well, maybe with a bit of luck, okay, she might not turn up. Why? What are you planning? That'll be five minutes, madam. Thank you for using streetcars, mate. It's going to be weeks now. What am I going to do in the meantime? You could try working. There's a novelty. What is this life, if full of care, we have no time to stand and stare. A wise man once said that. You obviously didn't run a cab firm. And anyway, you spend loads of time standing and staring, or sitting and staring. That's the problem. You don't understand. No, I don't, Steve. Try me. I just... I just think that there's more to life than work. I mean, otherwise, what's the point? The point is, if we don't, we go bust. It's as simple as that. Now, I'm sorry to bow out of this philosophical discussion, but I've got a pickle in Caddy's head. Ah, can you work this evening? Only I need you in the pub. You might as well. There's no use here. Are you still not pulling your weight? Hey, it's not on, you know. I thought either was in tonight. Yeah, but she had to swap shifts. Go on, then, if I must. Great. I'll see you later. Are you serious? It belonged to that man? Yeah, yeah, but I've, I've given it a good clean. It'll be right. Oh, she was selling all of his things, including some of their wedding presents. Oh. There was a rather nice toaster there, actually. Uh, not I bought it, of course. Here's Craig. He's got. He's going to give me an induction. Hello, love. Uh, would you like some sweets while you're working? No, he wouldn't. I don't want sticky fingers all over my screen here. Look, I, I can't find this astronomy app thing anywhere. No, you have to download it oh. from the App Store. Yeah. There, I'll show you. It's amazing. You can even use it in the daytime. Oh, to see the stars? Yeah. Even though you can't see them, it still shows you what's there. Who's here? Gavin! Hey. Look, I'm, I'm sorry about before. I shouldn't have snapped at you. No, no, it, it was my fault. I'm like a runaway train. Once I get started, there's no stopping me. <laughs> it's true. But only because he cares. Honest, it was nothing to do with you. I was, I was in a bad mood, that's all. Yeah, well, who wouldn't be? Knee-deep in water. See? I told you. <laughs> Such a worrier. Sit down and I'll put the kettle on. So, did you, um, did you manage to get it all cleaned up? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's drying out nicely now. Good, good. Mind you, it's left a right mess. Carpet's ruined. And the paintwork. Oh, heck. And plumbers charge the flipping earth, don't they? Are no, you not kidding? Especially for an emergency call-out. Well, exactly. I'm dreading the bill. Still, never mind. I'm sure I'll muddle through. Hold on a second. 
I'm just going to help get him. I want to try and help him. I'm going to get an advance on my wages. Only I'm already behind when my rent's up. All right, I can help out. Hundred pounds each. Are you sure? I'll pay you back. I insist. Thanks. Listen. We'd like to help you out. Sorry. Give you some money so you can get it sorted. No, no. Look, that, that's really kind. But no, no, please, please. I've not been there for you in the past, but well, I'd like to now, if you let me. Well, put like that. How can I refuse? <laughs> you know, you, you can get all sorts of apps on this. There's even one that transforms this tablet into scales. So, so you can weigh things on it. Why not just use scales? Oh, I, I don't know. It seems to me life's becoming overcomplicated. I mean, well, take emails, for example. What's wrong with good, old-fashioned pen and paper? Oh, I know. You know, soon people won't be able to write. Do you remember when we had fountain pens? Oh, I do. <laughs> oh, them little bottles of ink. I used to love squeezing them rubber tubes watching the ink go. Oh, <laughs> well, why stop there? Why not bring back the quill pen as well? Or better still, just get a stick and draw things in the sand. What's he doing here? Ah, well, uh, Eva couldn't work tonight, so I had to ask him to step in. Yeah, I tried that trick myself, remember, and in case you'd forgotten, it didn't work. No, I'm in trying again. You are sure you can afford it? Absolutely. Don't worry yourself. Oh, hello. Hiya. Are you stopping for your tea? Only I think they've prepared a fatted calf. David. He's only kidding. No, oh, actually, why don't you stay? No, really, I, I should get going. Check out the flats, do you? Gavin's had a flood. Ah, shame. You sure you won't stop? No, really, you've done enough. I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? Great. And thanks for everything. Please to help. Help me what? Well, plumbers are expensive, aren't they? What, so you've paid for it? Helped him out. He's unemployed. Oh, well, I'll just quit my job then, shall I? It means I get free haircuts and handouts. You're so childish, David. Cheers, love. Cheers, mate. So, um, <clears throat> how's things? All right, I suppose. How's things for you? Great, yeah. Still living at Carlos? Yep, yeah. But uh, I did go and look at a couple of flats this afternoon. Oh. Well, I better get some glasses. So. Told you it was a waste of time. Don't say it, I told you so. No, I wouldn't dream of it. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Hey, I put that toaster on one side for you. Oh, thank you. I mean, it's a shame I'm having to sell all my wedding presents, but I'm being hounded for money. I'm gonna get some mixers. Michelle has got enough on a plate without you stirring things. Oh, has she? Lucky cow. Cos I've got absolutely nothing on mine. No wedding, no husband, no money. Yeah, come on, be fair. Tracy's suffering too. That, that, that's Jupiter, see? And that's Jupiter's great red spot. I had one of those on my nose this morning. And the great red spot is actually a storm that's been raging for hundreds and hundreds of years, maybe even longer. Really? Oh, yes. All I remember from school is that this is the uh, Milky Way. Uh, Milky Way, yes. <laughs> Funny how they named it after a chocolate bar, isn't it? Well, they didn't. They joke. Ah, yeah. You know, that's 13 billion years old. <laughs> Blimey. Puts 40 in perspective. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? The universe. I mean, all you have to do is... Ah, just look up there and all your worries just... 
drop away. <laughs> Makes you realise how short life really is, doesn't it? Mm. It's over just like that, isn't it? You see all them stars and planets, galaxies, and the massiveness of it all. I mean, what's the point? In us, you know? All this just makes you think that everything's just a massive waste of time. Remember when we used to sit out here looking for shooting stars? Never saw one, eh? Yeah, well, you don't, do you? When you're looking for them. Don't mean they're not there, though, does it? More amazing people get the recognition they truly deserve when Holly makes more dreams come true in Surprise Surprise here next. And then we're off to the jungle to see how Kendra gets on with her latest Bush Tucker trial. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Is it nine?